you've been enjoying the journey, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let's delve into today's topic, shall we? What's the core thing that we need to focus on in order to really step into a new space where we're actually developing ourselves? What's the thing at the base of it all that creates those repetitive experiences? At the base of it all, we have this feeling that we're not enough, that we're not enough as we are, that we're not good enough. And that can be a really frustrating thing when you are doing the work and you are getting over hurdle after hurdle, layer after layer, and there still seems to be this feeling that no matter what you do, you can't quite get there. And it is very much the human condition because there will never be an end. There will never be a moment where you feel like it's done, that it's all achieved, that you've got it all. Because we always put something else in front. We always need something more than what we have. We always feel like it's not enough. So where does this feeling come from? Yes, it could come from individual experiences. It could come from our parents. It could come from something someone said to us in the schoolyard. It could simply be because you were the first child or the middle child or the third or the 10th. There are so many factors that can come into play that give us that base of not feeling good enough. But what if it goes deeper than that? I've been being super nerdy lately and I've been looking at a lot of sciencey stuff because I don't really have any particular beliefs on how this all began. But when I've started looking into all of these theories, they all seem to have a commonality. Like quantum physics has officially proven that we are all made up of energy and so therefore we're actually all connected to each other, to the earth, to the animals, to everything. At the end of the day when it comes down to it we're all energetically connected we then get into quantum entanglement quantum entanglement is the theory that has been proven that if two particles have come into contact at any given time even if it was light years ago they are always connected from that moment forward and so if you think about it we were all connected at some stage. Doesn't matter whether you believe in Adam and Eve or the Big Bang. We were all one ball of energy. We were all within one human being in the beginning of time. So the fact that we've all been split up, so doesn't it just make sense that none of us can feel like we're complete just as we are because we're not, we are all part of a larger self. We are all connected to each other. We are all connected to the earth that we stand on and the nature that surrounds us that, you know, we could take better care of. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I went to reach for the thing behind me and it wasn't there. <laughs> As human beings, we have actual tribal needs that have us constantly seeking acceptance and avoiding rejection. But we can't do either of these if we're constantly allowing ourselves to become more and more disconnected from that which actually provides those things. Actually feeding the connection that we have with ourselves and the connection that we have with everything around us. We're feeding our own energy, our own feeling of enoughness. We're reconnecting with that which we once actually were a part of and energizing and being able to move forward with not just connections, with not just maybe new friends or partners or better relationships with your work colleagues, whatever it is, we are creating an energy that will help move us forward. So it's actually become something that we see as so foreign when someone genuinely reaches out to have a conversation with us, to ask us how we are. We constantly have this idea that there's an ulterior motive, that there's something else going on, what's in it for them. And we don't think that we're enough to even be asked how our day's going. Well, let's make it not so freaking weird because the more disconnected we become, the more we're just feeding all of the stuff that we don't actually want in our lives. 
let's feed the stuff that we do <laughs> and let's do it together and maybe we can change it all maybe we can break through that feeling of lack to a feeling of wholeness and if you're interested in learning more about these techniques these ways that I've discovered that really help to break through those feelings of unworthiness those feelings of disconnection then please be sure to get in touch. I'm holding a retreat in Bali in November and we'll be focusing on all of this and we'll be doing it while we drink coconuts by the pool. <laughs> please find all the links below and I'll see you next time.